Hi there. If you want to quickly and effectively remove malware from your site, you've come to the right video. In the first chapter, we'll discuss removing malware using security plugins. In the second chapter, I'll show you how to remove malware manually using cPanel. Whichever method you choose, do not miss out on the third chapter because I'll share eight bonus steps to prevent your site from getting hacked again. Before we begin, let me quickly welcome you to our channel. Our team has built multiple successful plugins that manage over a million sites. And here, we help you find your website mojo through weekly videos to fix website issues and improve site performance. So hit that subscribe button so you do not miss out on our weekly videos. All right, let's begin. Chapter one, cleaning malware from WordPress using a security plugin. Now, there are multiple security plugins in the market. I'll attach a link above to a video where we ran malware tests on all the top plugins to find out which one did the best cleanup. Long story short, WordFence and our in-house product Malcare came out on top. Malcare beat WordFence in cleanup effectiveness because WordFence's scanner couldn't catch malware in premium themes and plugins, whereas Malcare detected and cleaned malware from the entire site. In terms of price, WordFence charged $490 per cleanup in addition to the annual $99 fee, whereas Malcare only charged $99 for unlimited yearly cleanups, as well as a range of other security features that protect your site from future hacks. So now I'll show you how to use Malcare for an instant one-click malware removal. Step 1. Log into your Malcare dashboard and go to the security section. Then scan your site so Malcare can find the malware. Then click on Auto Clean button. If you haven't bought Malcare, then will be a prompt to upgrade here. Finish that and that's it. Malcare's automatic cleaner will instantly clean your site. In some rare cases, you may see a notification that the hack is too complex and you need to contact customer support. There's no need to worry. Just shoot an email to this ID and the 24-7 support team will quickly resolve the issue. Chapter 2. Remove malware from WordPress manually using cPanel. I must warn you that this is a complex process and there's a high risk of something going wrong. Even WordPress pros stay away from this and prefer using a security plugin. Checking an entire site for malware can take a lot of time and there's always a risk of missing out on some malware. On top of that, there's also a risk of accidentally deleting an important file and breaking your site. That being said, if you are confident you want to do this, then just follow along the steps that I'm mentioning now. Step 1. Back up your website. Get a complete backup of your WordPress site before you attempt to clean it up manually so that if anything goes wrong, you can restore your website. You can get a free trial of our product Blog World for this because it gives you bulletproof backups in just a click. I'll add a link in the description for it. Step 2. Download clean versions of WordPress core, themes and plugins. In order to restore your website, you need uninfected files for your WordPress website. Given that malware could be anywhere on your website, it is best to download the clean installs of your website files from the WordPress repository. Make sure you download the same version as the ones on your website to compare the files and locate any malware. Step 3. Reinstall WordPress code. Now that you have the clean versions of your website components, it is time to start the actual WordPress malware cleanup process. The first step is to install the core files. We have said this before, but ensuring that you use the same version as before is extremely important, or else your website will not work properly. You can use cPanel or SFTP to access your WordPress files and then replace the WP admin and the WP includes folder. These folders do not contain any user content, so replacing them is relatively hassle-free. Once you do this, look for malware in the following folders. There is no one kind of malware that we can ask you to look for. Therefore, it is important that you ensure that any strained code you come across is malware before deleting it. Additionally, take a look at the WP Uploads folder. If you see any PHP files in this folder, delete them as it is not meant to have any. Step 4. Clean themes and plugin files. Themes and plugin files can be found in the WP Contents folder. You need to go through each of these files one by one and compare them to the fresh downloads to find any suspicious code. Bear in mind that not all changes in the files are bad. If you have customized any of your extensions, it will reflect as additional code in these files. Also, please never use null themes or plugins on your WordPress site. Not only are they riddled with vulnerabilities, they often carry hidden malware. Step 5. Clean malware from WordPress database tables. In addition to the files, you also have to remove malware from WordPress database tables. For this, you need to use your database admin panel. Once you log into the admin panel, you need to look for any suspicious content. Check the WP options and WP posts tables specifically. If you want to clean your database tables effectively, I've attached a link in the description for a detailed article. Once you locate the table with suspicious content, you need to open the table and manually delete set content. Once done with this, test your website to make sure that it is still fine. 
functional. Step six, remove all backdoors. You have cleaned your WordPress site now, but unless you remove the cause for malware, there is a strong chance of your WordPress website getting reinfected. To secure your WordPress site from any future attacks, you need to remove all the backdoors. Backdoors are gaps in your website code that allow hackers to inject malware into your website and gain access to it. You can search for common backdoor keywords or terms like this and delete them if you find any. One important tip, the keywords mentioned above can also be used in website code and may not be a part of malware. If you are not an expert at cleanups, I'd once again advise you to use a security plugin for this purpose. Step 7. Re-upload clean files. Once your cleanup is done, you need to re-upload these files to your website. The process is very similar to restoring a backup manually and you can use cPanel or SFTP to do the same. I'll add a link above for a video on restoring a backup manually. Long story short, you need to delete the files and tables that you plan on replacing and then upload the clean versions. Please make sure you have your backup in place in case anything goes wrong in this step. Step 8. Clean the cache. The cache stores versions of your site in order to reduce the requests that go to your website server, but this means that if your site is hacked, the cached version of your website will also have malware. So it is necessary to clear your WordPress cache to make sure that your website is pick and span. Step 9. Verify each plugin and theme. Your themes and plugins could hide vulnerability or traces of malware even after a cleanup. So verifying each one of them is important. To verify your themes and plugins, you need to disable them all. You can do this by renaming your WP Contents folder to anything else. Then activate them one by one and see if your website behaves differently or if the extension works fine. If everything goes smoothly, your extensions are malware free. Step 10. Use a security scanner to confirm. Malware is unpredictable, so it is worth confirming that your WordPress site is completely malware free after cleaning your website manually. You can use our in-house plugin Malcare because it has the best free malware scanner on the market. This will help confirm whether your site is actually clean or there is still some malware in it. In case malware is still there, no need to worry, you can easily access the one-click auto cleanup from the dashboard to remove the malware. Chapter 3. 8 Steps to Prevent Hacks once your site is clean, we recommend immediately doing the 8 steps mentioned here to prevent your site from being hacked again. Here are two other helpful videos for you. Comment below if you're stuck anywhere and I will try my best to help you out. That's all for today. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek and I will see you again next week.